Well, N-Wave is a technology company that's developing a new method of dehydrating or drying materials. We have established different technology platforms in the food area, in the biological area, pharmaceutical area. We have a very clear vision to really fundamentally change the way the world is doing this. And uh, we've established collaborations with Nestle, with Denisco. Nestle obviously is the world's largest uh, food and beverage company. Denisco is the world's largest producer of probiotics and food cultures. So we have an excellent start and we're very excited about the potential of the company. What's very exciting for us is that they've agreed to move forward into uh, a testing stage of the technology and we know they're a very innovative company that likes to look at leading edge technologies and establishing future trends for themselves. So we feel very excited about the prospects. Well, at this stage, we're working on a whole range of different products. We have food applications where we're drying uh, snack chip products, for example. It's sort of new healthy products that are being looked at from pineapple chips to banana chips to papaya chips, mango chips. Things that would be rich in flavor, but very healthy, very natural. We're also working on a number of food applications with, uh, in regards to baking or cooking areas drying peppers and, uh, you know, other spices and things like that. We're also working on the other areas, which would be more bacteria or probiotics, food cultures, enzymes, which is another sort of growing area. We have as well the opportunity to work in the pharmaceutical market. So we've been dehydrating vaccines and antibodies and some of those kind of materials. So some of it's done direct food drying, some of it's done in powder drying, where we're converting powder, and some of it's done in vials for the, for the pharmaceutical market. So we're establishing very much variety using our, our method for the technology. Well, basically, if you look at the sort of general market in the world today, you have big scale technology that does powder and, and dries food called spray drying and air drying. Both of these technologies are really driven by high heat. So it's very difficult for them to you know, retain good nutritional value, flavors, biological activity. So the world has created a method called freeze drying, which has sort of been the dominant standard for 50 years. And they freeze the technology and they gradually vaporize the liquid out over, over a very long period of time. It's very expensive. So our technology is called Radiant Energy Vacuum, or REV. And what we do is we take a vacuum and we reduce the atmosphere, which allows us to bring the boiling point down to a very low temperature, very gentle temperature. And then we use a microwave energy to accelerate the drying. So we can dry at room temperature or even into the frozen state and do it very, very quickly. And the net result is that we get to retain the, the nutrients, the flavors, the biological activity, but we do it much faster than the sort of conventional freeze-dried method that's already sort of the dominant market leader today in that area. A number of major reasons. The first of is to increase the shelf life because in liquid form or fresh form, products don't last very long. You know, a vaccine, for example, lasts, you know, anywhere from three to four months, typically in a liquid form. If you dehydrate it, you can extend the life to a year two years potentially. So that's a very important part. A lot of the other reasons is for efficiencies. Companies like to reduce the weight for delivery, reduce the cost of refrigeration, which in fresh form, many things have to be refrigerated. In a dry form, you, you don't have to do that. You can leave it stable at you know, room temperatures. There's also a lot of products that have been developed for convenience, you know, whether it's dried soup, dried coffees different materials where there's just been the need for having a dried product if it's going to go to uh, long term into the market for consumers. Finally, a lot of additives. Pretty well everything you eat today, whether it's uh, or drink today, has proteins, has uh, probiotics, has cultures that are added for health benefits, and it's much more efficient to use dried materials to transport them and to have them processed in that way. So it's a very large massive market in terms of drying and quite frankly there hasn't really been a revolution of change in the market for 
for a long time. So, you know, what we're, our goal is really to create that revolution and work with the world's leading companies to accomplish that. We've just recently announced our Nestle collaboration. So, you know, we're very focused on working together towards having the technology, uh, you know, adopted by Nestle. So there's, you know, a testing program and other things that we're going to be working on. Our other major project with Denisco started a few years ago. We were able to demonstrate with the project that we're capable to, to dehydrate nearly 10 times faster the actual bacteria on a, on a certain scale. We're now scaling up the technology. We're building a pilot line, which is a final stage before we would go into a commercial stage and get a license. So we're working very focused on that. We hope to complete that pilot line by the end of this year and by the middle of next year, complete the testing and licensing, which would give us our first major initiative in terms of, 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 of customer for long-term work. You know, we're working very much towards building other relationships. So we have other companies that are in different areas from Nestle and Denisco, where we're working very specifically on projects which would give us further growth and momentum with the technology against some other very, very sizable companies as well. So we also have growing our platforms. We're building some new dynamics to our technology in different ways so that we can expand the applications that we can use it in. And again, searching for partners in those areas as well. Our long-term goal is to really change the way the world is, is dehydrating. And, you know, I think it has some benefits. I think we can, we can make a big step forward in reducing the cost of energy that's used today, uh, reducing the refrigeration footprint, which is a big, big cost of energy in the world because if you can make it more efficient to dry, you get more of those materials that would be, you know, dehydrated as opposed to, you know, maintaining its current state, which requires refrigeration. I think we, we believe we can expand in all of the different platform areas that we're developing and, and really become the technology of choice for efficiency, for quality, and, uh, and that's really our long-term goal.